too sunny for just too sunny youtube uh, tv channel i tried to go live at three o'clock this afternoon as scheduled and it went horribly wrong i failed i failed i failed so i thought i should just uh, do this little video for you and uh, share with you what i shared on my facebook live Remember, I had promised that we were going to talk about crutches, Magobodo. Um, before I get into it, this is going to be a very short video. Let me just give you a reminder of who I am. My name is Tusani Murauzi. I'm an international relations practitioner by training, by qualification, and uh, I've got over 18 years experience in international relations i consult and i also work um, for the city of johannesburg and i'm a lover of god and a lover of all things that are natural and mountains being something which i have an affinity for so let's get straight to it crutches what are crutches crutches are something that you lean on when you are hurt or weak and it is something that you use to give you support when you're not feeling strong enough and but now can crutches be good can crutches be bad and does every single person who is alive on earth have a crutch mm. i think so i don't know what you think and since this is a video which i am going to upload I'm going to encourage you to leave a comment and I'll come back and respond to it. What about exercising? Can exercising be a crutch? Hmm. I think so. I've used it as a crutch before myself. And then um, what makes a good crutch or what makes a bad crutch? Is there such a thing? I don't know. Maybe there is. Let's go straight to the very first crutch that i have identified the first crutch can be a psychological crutch this is when uh, a person depends on someone or something in a way that is a, a bit unhealthy this can be when a person is depending a bit much on friends and how we can use friends as a psychological crutch would be when we use them to consult for every life decision that we have to make or for every step that we have to make in life. Maybe if you want to buy a house, you would first consult a friend. If you want to take a holiday to Italy, you would consult a friend before making a, a step. That can be deemed as a psychological crutch and... What we also need to remember is that uh, it's not all friends who have our best interest at heart. The second crutch that I would like to talk about would be a spiritual crutch. Now, how one can use matters of the spirit as a crutch would be placing a heavy dependence on god we would be expecting god to actually come down into the physical realm to come and deal with our situations is that is that even possible uh, i would think not let me give you a classical example a person who could be dealing with debt who would be heavily indebted would say oh, god will come and deal with it god will provide and of course, God is our provider. The word of God says, yes, he will provide. We should ask and it shall be given to us. But now a person who is placing an unhealthy dependence on a spiritual crutch would be someone who is burying their head in the sand instead of physically dealing with the debt by paying off bills one by one would be saying, God make a way instead of maybe talking to their creditors and paying off a little bit, little bit monthly. And the same can be said to someone who's sitting in a, an abusive situation. 
Now, instead of chatting to someone about a physically abusive situation or, or a relationship where a person is being sexually abused or talking to someone or going to the police station, a person would just be saying, God, do something. And sometimes it's unfortunate. This is not to discredit the kind of a uh, abuses that women and men and children go through where they are not in a position to be able to help themselves out of that abusive situation. What about a financial crutch? What's a financial crutch? A financial crutch can play out in our lives. When we spend too much money to make ourselves to feel better, and I'll give you an example. Uh, um, let's say maybe I'm going through trauma or a rough time in my in my life. And then instead of dealing with the trauma that is playing out in my life, I can decide to go shopping for shoes, shopping for handbags, um, go on a holiday, which God forbid one can't afford. Those things would all form part of a crutch. And uh, they may cover the wound or the trauma for a little bit of time, but eventually um, that is not going to be good enough for the situation that a person is dealing with. The next kind of crutch would be a beauty crutch or an aesthetic crutch. And a beauty crutch or an aesthetic crutch uh, plays out in our lives. All, I, I think... Most people, if you are to look at the the messages that are playing out in the media, you know, um, for women, you would be told uh, if you've, you have wrinkles, use this cream to smoothen out your wrinkles. If your breasts are sagging, rub this lotion to get your breasts all up and perky again. And um, if you do not have a beautiful hair by this inches to make you look sexier to appeal to the the next sex and then for men if you do not have um a even toned skin use this cream if you are a kid if you buy this kind of sneaker it's going to make you look cool those are all the messages that are constantly bombarding us uh, to address our beauty both as men or women or, or children the next uh, kind of crutch that i would like to speak about is busyness most of us have faced business as a challenge and you find that um if we're going through issues instead of dealing with those issues we would choose to be busy in the office all the time or we would choose to be busy at church all the time or we would choose to be busy all the time in society any kind of business would then do as long as it doesn't give us that chance to address the issues that are going on in our lives the next kind of crutch that I would like to talk about is pleasure. Pleasure is a crutch. The pleasure that can be derived from food, from alcohol, from sex even. And all these three things that I'm mentioning and many other things that I'm not mentioning. But these three things that I'm talking about, food, alcohol and sex, there's nothing wrong with them. Now, how they play out as a crutch is when we abuse. Now, food, if I would be using food as a crutch, I could be overeating or I could be undereating. So it's a double-edged sword. Alcohol, alcohol is it's nice to enjoy if it's being enjoyed responsibly, but if it is used to mask pain, if it is used, if I'm using it as a, a tool to make me forget what I'm going through or to make me not process whatever emotional or, or psychological injuries I would have encountered in life, then it becomes a crutch. Same goes for sex. Sex 
sexual pleasure was made for us as humans to enjoy and god explicitly said in the bible you know be fruitful and multiply but then sex is also enjoyable and pleasurable when it's used in the right context but if now sex a person is using sex you know sex 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 all the time or sex with multiple partners it opens a person up for so many for so many things that are not pleasant um one can be opened up for soul ties and one can also be opened up for psychological trauma as trauma as well and let me go back also now to the issue of exercise is a crutch exercise can be a crutch when one uses one is exercising all the time too much seven days a week there's nothing wrong with exercising seven days a week but there are people who can exercise for six hours eight ten hours twelve hours now i'm not talking about sports people that are earning a living through sports that are having to exercise 18 hours because for them that would be their office that is different i'm not talking about a swimmer who would swim for six eight hours a, a professional swimmer that one that is how they make their livelihood i'm not talking about an a, a, a person who is a, a a marathon runner who has to run six eight hours in a day or spend all that time in the gym that is legit what about a normal human being that is spending five six seven hours in the gym that would be a little bit of an unhealthy situation and sometimes when we overuse exercise especially for females you can reach a point where you stop having uh, your menstruation because your brain is putting so much pressure on burning fat and maximizing this physical activity that it would actually forget to tell your reproductive organs to come into play and to give you a period so it becomes a bit of an impossible situation and what about our children our kids can we use our kids as as crutches i most definitely believe that you, you we can use our kids as crutches and when we use our kids as crutches it's when we do not allow our children the space and the freedom to live their lives and always when they would go out there to live their lives we would drain them in we would bring them back to us closer if they are at university you would we would find ways of blackmailing them if they are at a uh, high school or wherever we would always find these ways of reining them back to us and in a way we hamper we end up hampering our children our kids because we are not giving them the leeway and the space and the freedom to be who they need to be in life and in a nutshell that is all about crutches and i hope that you've picked up a nugget or two and uh, next time i will try and go live and we're going to be talking about impact making an impact and we will look at both making a good impact and a bad impact in 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 life and we will also look at how to go about making a good impact and okay fine so you've gone and made a bad impact where to from there so I would like to wish you a wonderful, wonderful day further and also enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I hope to see you at my next live. It I will try and get all the technological issues under control. I love you. Have an awesome weekend. And if you have any topics that you would like to suggest that we tackle, please leave them in the comment section. Ciao.